We all want more sales, right? Well, to get more sales, we've got to know what's working and what isn't. Hey, I'm Leah. Let me walk you through your Etsy stats and how you can use them to gain insights, make informed decisions, and ultimately boost your sales. Let's learn how people find your shop and engage with your listings. To get to your stats page, simply click on stats in the left menu. The first thing you'll see is your overall shop performance. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Time period filter. The first thing you should do is select the time period for which you'd like to see data. If you're a smaller shop or don't get tons of sales yet, a longer time period will help you get a better picture of your shop's performance. But I highly recommend looking at data from at least the last 30 days to make sure you're getting an accurate picture. Visits are the number of people who looked at your shop or listings, not to be confused with listing views, which is the number of times people looked at your listings. Let's say a shopper found your listing through Etsy search and then viewed four other listings from your shop. This would count as one visit and five listing views. The same idea applies if you were to have your own physical shop. One customer might come in, take a quick look and leave, whereas another customer may come in and pick up several items. Orders. This is the number of orders sold in your shop. If a customer buys three items, it still counts as one order. Conversion rate. This is one of the most important metrics as it tells you the percentage of visitors to your shop that result in an order. In other words, it's the number of sales you get per 100 visits to your Etsy shop. Conversion rate is so important because it leads to more revenue, lower acquisition cost, higher ranks in Etsy search, and faster growth. While the average conversion rate for the overall e-commerce market sits at just under 2%, a good conversion rate on Etsy can vary significantly across categories. Conversion rates typically lie between 1 and 5%, with 2 to 3% being the average on Etsy. Revenue. Revenue is the total sales of all your orders minus any discounts you gave and doesn't include selling fees, shipping costs, or orders that were refunded or canceled. And if your shop has been open for long enough, you'll also see a toggle that allows you to quickly compare your stats to last year's data, which can help you identify trends or peak sales times. Moving down, we find the How Shoppers Found You section. This looks at your traffic sources or where your buyers are coming from. It's broken down into two categories, traffic brought by Etsy and you, each of which is broken down further into three subcategories. Let's look at the traffic generated by Etsy first, Etsy app and other Etsy pages. These are the visits from people browsing the Etsy app, including favorites and Etsy ads, or other pages on Etsy.com like category pages, home pages, editor's picks, and more. Etsy search. This is visits from people searching on Etsy, but doesn't include listings promoted through Etsy ads or search traffic from the Etsy app. Etsy marketing and SEO. Etsy marketing and SEO includes visits from Etsy funded offsite promotions and traffic driven through search engine optimization on external channels. By clicking on the source, you can also see what search terms people are using to find your listings. Then there's a the traffic that you brought to your shop broken down into three more subcategories. Direct and other traffic. Direct and other traffic are visits from people who entered your shop URL into their browser, clicked on a link in an email, newsletter, blog, or any other website. Social media. These are visits from Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and other social sites. Etsy ads. Etsy ads are any visits from ads in search results on Etsy.com. This doesn't include visits from Etsy ads on the Etsy app or off-site ads, as all app activity will be included in the Etsy app and other pages traffic source. The last section shows us engagement for each listing. You'll first see the total views for all listings and the average number of listings a shopper views when they visit your shop. Then you can choose to view all your listings or filter by active, expired, inactive, or sold out listings. For each individual listing, you can see views, favorites, orders, and revenue. Click on a listing to see more in-depth information about that specific listing. 
Comparing shop visits to other metrics can help you understand how shoppers are navigating your shop. We'll look at the Explore Your Data section first. Here you can better understand your conversion rate and look for any trends or patterns. Visits and views. Look at your visits to the number of views. This information provides insights into how engaged customers are. Ideally, your views will be higher than your visits. If they're close, it might mean that shoppers are visiting your store, but they're not spending much time exploring other items or pages. Visits and orders. This comparison helps you understand how much traffic you need to make a sale, aka your conversion rate. Remember what I said about conversion rate earlier? It's really important, so I'm gonna repeat myself. It's what'll help you rank higher in Etsy search and get you more money. Year-over-year -year info. Look for trends with year-over-year -year information if you can. See how your numbers compare to the same exact time period from the previous year. Look for any spikes or drops and research what could have caused that. Things like marketing campaigns or holidays can play a big role here. You can also see which traffic sources are bringing views to this particular listing, what search terms people are using to find you, these are your most important keywords, as well as which social media channels are bringing traffic to this listing and how many favorites it has. Your top viewed listings are top for a reason. Use that information to your advantage to turn visits into sales. You may consider removing low performing items so you can focus on your top sellers or rework the listing, whether that's design, tags, mock-up photos, or something else. And you might also want to consider promoting your most popular listings on social media or elsewhere. Speaking of social media, let's talk more about how you can use this info to your benefit. Once you know which channels are bringing you the most traffic, you can focus your time and energy on how you can get even more traffic from that platform. It's worth investing your efforts into the channel that's resonating with your customers the most. For example, if Instagram is your top driving network, consider using an Instagram business account to get more stats about your followers and learn which posts they're engaging with. Then consider turning your top posts into paid ads. If you're not seeing visits from social media, try tweaking your strategy. Use relevant hashtags to help users discover your posts. Add tags that are specific to what you're sharing, but make sure not to stuff your posts with tags that aren't relative to your product or post. Also check out trending hashtags and see how your product could fit in. Make your presence known. Add links to your social media channels anywhere a potential buyer might interact with your brand. This could be your Etsy About section, email newsletter, your business card, and even on your gift messages. Collaborate with an influencer. Consider partnering with an influencer whose style and followers are similar to yours for more exposure. If you really wanna nail your social media strategies, check out some of our other videos. Whether you're a seasoned seller or just starting out, understanding and utilizing Etsy stats can help you thrive in the world of e-commerce. And we've got tons more videos to guide you through it all, so be sure to like this one and subscribe to Printify. 